Well, what's funny about my team is they feel like they should have made probably six or seven more. I mean, and they had some pretty good looks there. But I was just pleased with the way we got those threes. We moved the ball terrific, and, you know, and, and uh, passed up the good shot for the great shot and 25 assists. And then, you know, Christian, you get 31 off 15 shots. That's pretty darn efficient offense. And, you know, 47 from two and 53 from the field. And, you know, turned them over enough that got us running and thought it was a, there was some pretty good things tonight. And, you know, whether it be St. Felder, Jess, up, you know, a couple of guys that have been struggling, both had obviously some, some good signs tonight. Could this hopefully be a springboard for some of these guys moving forward to get back Yeah, you know, you, you, you know, it's a game of confidence a lot of times with shooters and it's tricky and that way. But uh, a game like that, that, you know, that's what we needed and, and it felt good to see that ball go in for some guys. and. You know, just get them comfortable and get them confident. You uh, played 10 guys in that first half. Um, were you kind of just messing with or exper experimenting with lineups? or? Uh... Well, no, you know, I think this time of year and, and with the grind that we've been on, we, we're one of the only teams in the league that haven't had a bye yet. And we had it, I mean, you look at it, at Wyoming, at Fresno, San Diego State, Utah State, Nevada, that was a you know, five-game stretch that was pretty darn rough. And, so energy was the factor that I wanted to uh, bring, and I wanted to see who could bring some. And you know, Cam brought some energy, and Marcus brought some energy, and kind of sparked us a, a little bit in that first half. And I think that's you know <coughs> what's going for us. So uh, that, that's what I wanted to see out of some guys. Excuse me. Slow start for Hutch, but the next thing you look up, he ends up with 19 points tonight. It's just yeah. Kinda... One, one, one and two. six assists and, you know, six boards. I mean, pretty efficient game. And, and you know, the thing about it, too, is the out of those 25 assists, a lot of those were made by him going downhill, kicking it out, and swinging it, and boom, three. So it starts with his penetration a lot. What did you think of what you got from Cam? It seemed like he, he provided some good minutes for you. He did. He, he did. He sparked a little bit of energy. And, I was flying around a little bit. I thought he had a really good game. I, that one little turnover he had was, uh, you know, otherwise I, I would have been really, really pleased with it. But, uh, you know, we, we did. We made a step up tonight on our turnovers, too, so that was good. St. Felder tonight, uh, which seemed like showing a little more emotion and, and energy than, than maybe he has it. The, the muscle pose at one point kind of fired up, and he said he really wanted to bring some energy tonight. Was he that did. something you asked from him, or just he kind well, of responded? Well, you know, those seniors know that that's what they have to be, you know, bring for this team. And they, they know that, you know, the thing that I always want these guys to understand is they cherish every game in here because they don't have many. It goes by so quick. And so I'm always telling them that and, and making them aware of that, that, you know, you don't, you don't get to go back and do them over again. You, you get these one opportunities. And, and you know, they, those, both those other seniors, you know, all three of my seniors really took advantage of it. I know it's just basketball, but I mean, it's been three days ago from making three to making 18. And, and I mean, just, just how, I don't know how you explain that, but it was just one of those things where it just kind of was correcting itself a little bit or? Yeah, and, and you know, some of that is pick your poison too. The way San Jose plays is different than the way Nevada plays and the way they defend the three. So, you know, it's just some of the defense you're gonna face. They were pretty packed in to take away Chandler's drives. And when you choose that, you know, that's, and we move the ball pretty well. We shoot the ball pretty well. You know, Nevada's out extended and, you know, they try to take away those threes. So it's just different, you know, different defenses you face. You got 18 threes, but it was against the last place team in the league. Does that concern you at all? Because I saw you knock on wood yesterday, and so you seem like a little bit no, of a superstitious kind of guy. Yeah, no. I, no, it, it, when we make the right plays and we get the ball moving like we did, uh, we're gonna, and when we get open ones, we do a pretty good job of, of making them. You know, like I said, we made 18, and our guys are kicking themselves like, hey, we should have 25, you know. So uh, when it's all about, you know, we, we, those guys have the repeatable skills that they can – stand in the corner and when we swing it to them if they're open they make like a pretty darn good percentage. Marcus said yesterday you felt like you did, they felt bad because you know, Nevada didn't get their best shot. You know, you feel like you guys didn't play your best game. Um, do, you, do you feel like the guys were, were anxious to get back out there tonight and just kind of put yeah, that behind them? Yeah, a little bit, you know, maybe. But uh, like I said, it's it's every league game is precious and that's the way we approach it. And 
we want to give our best shot and our best efforts all the time. And because you know, you know, season's going quick. You don't have that many more. We have four more home games, right? So, it, it, you know, like I said, playing here, talk to Bell. We we take a lot of pride in it. Want to want to play our best for Pronk Nation, and uh, and we cherish every second we're out there. You're able to force 17 turnovers on defense. What's that like to see from your defense on a night when they make 18 three pointers and that the defensive might get overshadowed by that? Yeah, and that was important because I thought San Jose State was making some shots. They, I thought they played pretty good offense. You know, we were, you know, if we wouldn't have turned them over, it would have been a, it would have been a really, really tough game because I thought they were, I thought. Coach Prelo's doing a good job. He's, they're still battling. They don't look like a team to me. They don't look like a team that has the record they have. So I think he's doing a great job and keeping them playing hard. And, and their ball was going in tonight. So it took a good effort by us, no question. Did, did you know Lexus was this good of a shooter when you guys recruited him? I mean, his outside shots. seems It looked to... like he was. Mm -hmm. You know, his numbers weren't telling me that. But you're, when you watched him, you're, you passed the eye test on shooting the ball. It looks great. And uh, that, that's a valuable weapon in those two point guards. Um, Lexus goes four for seven, and Marcus three for four. Three for four. I mean, that's pretty darn efficient from your point guards. Is that, is that something people overlook a little bit with transfers coming in and maybe assume that right away they're going to they're going to fit in? But for them to fit in as well as that right. they have for you guys, right? For them to fit in well as well as they have is remarkable. But we're you know, you know, when you have a kid that. You haven't coached before. You're, you know, it's January. We're still finding nuances in their game that we can, you know, accentuate with the way we play. And so we're still adjusting to them a little bit, and they're still adjusting to us, you know. And uh, I mean, but that being said, they've adjusted better than, than you can imagine with two transfers. No question.